Let's talk about our fact books. That's my loving term for nonfiction. So let's start with something super neat for a kid that wants to make their own website. In this book, you learn to design and build a real working website from scratch using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Simple step-by-step -step directions written especially for beginners with a little bit of extra help and downloads online. Super cool. Economics was a subject that I got to learn about in my, sub my senior year of high school. And by then I was so done with learning that I just wanted to get out. I don't think I remember one thing from government or economics my senior year. So how neat would it be to teach economics before then? This book is super, super neat. Um, it's all about economics. It's about understanding the choices we make to solve different problems from people deciding how much to spend their time to businesses figuring how much to sell to governments choosing how to run a country with questions like what is the black market? Should we take from the rich to give to the poor? What is competition? Can economics help save the planet? Should you always do what people want? These are all super big questions and they're covered in this super cool book. Let's lighten it up a little bit and talk about dinosaurs. And discover the amazing age of dinosaurs as you fold out this superbly illustrated scene and then turn it over to find all about the timeline in which different dinosaurs lived. Talk about a ton of information. Equally lighthearted but slightly terrifying, wild weather. From lift the flaps that reveal all kinds of wild weather and why it happens, you can learn about storms, one of my least favorite living in Texas, the tornado, and scary weather and the cold climates and, and hot ones. Let's check out a new title in our beginner series all about adorable otters. In this easy to read text, you can find out stuff like how many types of otters are there? What tricks can otters use to catch fish? Where do sea otters sleep? You'll find answers and lots more all about the fascinating lives of adorable otters. I feel like these days bees are almost as popular as unicorns and mermaids and for good reason. In this awesome new peek inside, peek into flowers and inside a beehive to find out what busy bees do all day. I absolutely love how you learn so much from all of these little flaps and cutouts. Kids don't even realize that they're learning. In this case, all about bees. Getting Started with Science is a new Usborne STEM book that is perfect for all young scientists. Learn about human body, the power of light, electricity, and how to keep safe. Some details about living on a planet and much more. And speaking of scientists, why don't we read about a hundred brilliant scientists in another new Usborne STEM book. In this book, your child can read about the science of genetics and how genes can jump. And what does that have to do with corn plants? They can discover about mathematical geniuses and artists who turn into scientists. All in this amazing new book. Speaking of science, who doesn't love to talk about germs? and a ton of flaps to lift, you can learn all about bacteria, viruses, fungi, protozoa. The whole gang's here in this super fun and very informational book all about germs. Especially important these days, but could be arguably always important, is spreading germs and how not to do it. You can also learn about super scary super bugs and heroes that come in the form of microbes in this super cool new book. Let's take a second to talk about family heroes in these two new titles, Family Heroes Keeping Things Going and Family Heroes Keeping Us Healthy. And Keeping Things Going meet all of the mommies and daddies who take care of us all, from police officers to park rangers, and much more, this sweet rhyming picture book is filled with heroes to celebrate with the whole family. This one's a little of the same, keeping us healthy, meeting all of the mommies and daddies who help keep 
everybody healthy. From doctors to dentists to nurses, pharmacists, so many people that help the world stay healthy. And the new title of this series, That's a Job? This one's all about I like sports. What jobs are there? You can be a referee or a community sports coordinator, a gym owner, a sports nutritionist, or a sports psychologist, and much, much more in this super cool book for sports lovers. Lift the Flap Biology is full of all of the exciting and bright things that have to do with the world of biology. Dive in and explore all sorts of living things from scuttling bugs to swaying forests and everything in between, like all of these amazing plants. And have you ever wondered how to build a body? Well, now you don't have to wonder anymore because it's all laid out in this super cool book. Now, some people don't like grammar and punctuation, but I actually really love it. And lift the flap, grammar and punctuation. This book will show you how English really works. And we all know that the English language is incredibly confusing. Take language apart with the great grammar machine and find out what each part does and then put it back together again using the silly sentence maker. Learn about clauses and conjunctions, apostrophes, and how to use quotation marks. See inside ocean. Dive down deep and go on an incredible journey into our oceans with over 80 flaps to lift Discover the mind-boggling array of animals and plants that live there and find out why, without oceans, life on Earth wouldn't even exist. One of the things that I love about nonfiction is that you really never know what little piece of information might really spark an interest or passion in your child. What book did you see that you think might spark something in your child? Comment below with your answer and I can't wait to see what you have to say.